Hello everyone, um, it's me again. Um, today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. Something that um, make like newcomers who are buying swords or buying something that they want that they're not used to getting, like something for themselves that isn't exactly practical. And you're probably questioning why you should get it or not. <clears throat> I have many stories to tell you of me when I got my first uh, sword. <laughs> now, <sighs> when you buy a your first sword or something, let's just I'm just gonna go with swords for this. You you can represent this for to anything. But the first time I bought a sword, I didn't know if I really wanted it or not. Like I was always looking at it and saying, do I want it? Do I not want it? Is it worth the money? Is it not worth the money? Do I deserve it? Do I not? And so, honestly, for people who are buying their first sword, you're going to go through this problem. Mentally, you're going to go through and you're going to wonder if you should get a sword or not. Now, I can't exactly tell you you should get a sword. But honestly, I haven't. I'm never going back. Once I bought that sword, it, it was something that I enjoyed. Cutting through bottles or just learning the whole history behind swords and everything. It, it's 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 changed my life around in a good way. Um, I've wanted to join um Hema groups now because of it. Um. I want to collect many swords. I mean, you, you really have to think of it more of this way. How much money do I make? And then how much does it cost? And then how much is it worth in a percentage of how much I make? And uh, is it worth it or not? The first sword I got, I had no idea what I was getting into. I went by kind of reviews, but the problem with that is many um, reviews of most people buying swords, let's say off Amazon or other places like that, they don't actually test their swords for cutting and stuff. They just hang it up on the wall. And um, the first sword I got was alright. It was pretty good. I have it here. It's like Ichigo's something sword. It was made out of, um, well, they say carbonated steel. I'm not exactly sure. It's not heat treated at all. I don't even know if it's full tang. But this sword did me good, and I also learned from my mistake of buying this sword. I shall now pull it out and show everybody this sword. So. When I bought this sword, I got it for around 80 bucks on Amazon. And it came dull, and I had no idea how to sharpen a sword. I had no idea about anything about swords. I just wanted to get a sword just for fun, because I watched many animes. I was interested in getting a sword and seeing what it was like. When I got this sword, it was completely dull, and I had no idea how to sharpen it until... I don't know, I finally got um, a water stone and I learned how to sharpen it. But me and my friends, we were taking sandpaper and trying to do it, we were taking files and we are trying to do it, and it was pretty difficult. But once I finally got this sword sharp and I started cutting through bottles, it was a lot of fun. I had the best moments with the sword because it was my first time ever. Cutting through a bottle is very, very um, fulfilling. It, it feels good cutting through a bottle because you feel like power. It's, it's, it's kind of strange to um, explain. But um, we started taking steps that we weren't ready. My edge alignment wasn't very good. Nobody's edge alignment. My friends wasn't really good as well. 
And basically, we started taking this sword as kind of invincible. Now, it's an $80 sword. The problem with that being is, you buy for what you get. And although this sword is made of high carbon steel, maybe, uh, you'll see shortly, it's bent. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm looking straight down at the camera. If it's pointing in another direction, you probably then you can see. Basically, we took this sword as kind of invincible, and, um, well, what happened was, um, I gave it to my father, he swung at it, and as he was swinging at it, he kind of swung like this, and he kind of hit it this way, and he bent it. And he bent the sword, my first ever sword. I was devastated by it, but I learned so much from it. Now, I've come here to help you if you're interested in buying a sword or something else, just something for your own personal pleasure. Um, I'm here to kind of help you. Um, when you're going to buy it, before you click that checkout and purchase, you're going to have the mental stage of, is it really worth it? And what I do is I break it down to three categories. Um, has bad things happened to me? Have I done good? And um, is it worth it? And how much do I want it? I guess you could say, I guess you could say the third one is how much do I want it? The first one is bad things that have happened to me. Recently, I bought a new sword. Not the sword, the hand and the half sword from, um, I don't know what the hell, Dark Sword Armory, but a new sword that I got that's coming on its way now. And, um, I go through this stage every time I buy a sword. Some people buy swords just willy-nilly, and other people have to think about it. I take a day, and I think about it, do I want it? First, what I do is I put how much money I make per year, and then how much it would take out during the sword cost. And it, that's usually nothing. That obviously passes pretty well depending on how much I want to pay for a sword. Um, if you want to buy a good sword for relatively low money, I recommend you one sword. There are some other swords that I'm probably going to post down at a link between $80 to $100, $100 to $60, $160, $160 to $200. One sword I recommend is this, the Dark Sword um, not Dark Sword, don't, uh, Hanway, uh, Dark Scimitar, Dark something, and it's a very long sword. But the one thing I liked about this, it's possibly one of the best swords you can get for bang for your buck. This sword here, basically, is the best light cutter I've ever had. It is light. It's thin, it's got a long handle, and it's got a long blade. That basically says everything for insane cutting ability. But because it's light, it's a light cutter. I wouldn't recommend putting any sword that's underneath $160 against the wood. I'm just saying that. But this sword here is a really, really good sword. Hanway, dark. Scimitar, Dark Prince, Dark something. I'll leave a link down to it and with its real name. But basically it's a really skinny, more curved katana with a really long handle. Do I recommend going against wood with this? No. Do I recommend going against bottles with it? Yes. This is the first sword I've ever had that's gone through maybe 12 2 liter bottles very fast, very well. There are amazing swords out there for really low, and I only paid $111 for this. If I knew this at the time when I started buying swords, I would have realized what everything meant. This sword here is made out of 1045 hard carbonated steel with differential hardening. 
It's really good. It's probably the best bang for your buck sword out there. Like, you're not gonna find anything worth a price for this sword. It's full tang. I think. <laughs> it, it probably is. It's really good. It's really well built. It rattles a little bit, but it's not bad. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend this sword. Okay. <clears throat> now. I also want to recommend, before you're going to get into swords, a site called the Sword Buyer's Guide. Basically, this site is built for helping you get a sword. When you first click on the Sword Buyer's Guide, it's going to be a little bit confusing. There's many different things flashing at you at once. But basically, if you read the main article, it teaches you about collecting swords and if you get into it. At the top, there's going to be a menu. At the menu, it teaches you all the different types of steels, differential hardening, um, good companies to buy swords from, bad companies to buy from, and a whole bunch of reviews of different swords. They are really good at um, giving out good reviews. These people collect swords and they're very well sword masters, I guess you could say. They also have their own store where they sell really good priced swords, but most of them are between 140 and 400 to 500 dollars. You really have to feel into it if you're going to give out that much money. But I have, and I'm not going back. I think it's really good. The first sword that I ever got that was really good was this, the Cold Steel Grossmesser. This sword is the most abused sword I have. <laughs> the scabbers have holes in it, it has tape around. The thing, bottom of the handle falls off. This sword is four years old. It's the second sword I got, and it is probably one of the best swords I've ever gotten. But, I paid 200 and something dollars for this sword. It's full tang, 1045 high carbonated steel, if on full hardening. This is the second sword I got. And it is special to me. This sword is a beast of a blade. This it's basically a massive knife. It's been badly beaten up. As you can see, there are many dings on it. It's definitely a lot shorter of a blade than it used to be. The handle wiggles. But it's still usable. Four years, I've abused the crap out of this thing. I put it against glass. I put it against wood. And it's just plowed through and continued to keep going. This is when you start paying over 160 to 200 dollars for a sword. You're gonna get swords like these that last you really, really well. So I highly recommend this sword. This is the second sword I bought, and honestly, it's a really good sword. Ooh, careful. Anyway, it really comes down to you and how much you're willing to pay. If you're going for a sword and you don't want to pay a lot, I can recommend um, uh, Windless Steelcraft and their short swords. This here is the Windless uh, Steelcraft Cobra Falcata. You can get this for around anywhere between $30 to $60. Really good sword, high carbonated steel. If you want to pay a little bit more, like around $120 to $130, you can get the Dark Sentinel. That was it. Dark Hanway Dark Sentinel sword. 
I highly recommend this sword. It's really good. If you want to pay a bit more than up to $200, I can recommend Ronin Katana. Uh, they make both European and Katanas. One of my favorite swords is the European um, number, Ronin Katana European Longsword number 7. It's possible, that was my favorite, this is, that is my favorite sword right now, to this date. And it's simple, and it only cost me around $229. I can also recommend, once this, a cold steel sword, which is around 200 and something dollars. I'll leave a link down in the description of different types of swords and how much they cost that I can recommend to you. I will also leave a link down to the sword buyer's guide. Please pop in on that and basically educate, um, educate yourself to you knowing what's good, what's bad, um, and yeah. I remember when I first started collecting swords. It was exciting. I didn't know what I was walking into. And honestly, it's possibly one of the best things I've ever walked into. It's one of my favorite hobbies, and it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend that you try it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you in your endeavors. Um, if you're looking for sites to buy swords, I recommend um, Cult of Athena and uh, the Sword Buyer's Guide, uh, basically, shopping page. But anyway, thanks for watching.